Hey, it's Angela from Jumping With My Fingers Crossed. Today I'm talking music. We love music in our house and we play it, we sing it, we dance to it, we have it on all the time. Um, when we're feeling sad, we put a song on, you know. I've always kind of been that person that's like, ooh, ooh, wait, I've got the perfect song for this feeling. Now, I parent like that too. But I've run into a few interesting challenges over the past couple of years. First thing is language and what songs are appropriate and where are my standards and where are my values and it's just kind of wacky. We are pretty conservative about what we say in the home. My kids still think the S word is like sucks or stupid. Not my oldest. Shout out to the 11 year old. I know you know what the S word is. Um, but every day I'm telling him he can't say words like sucks or even words that seem sort of okay to other fifth and sixth graders. I don't want him saying it because I don't want the preschooler, my three-year-old, going to preschool saying, this sucks. I don't want this snack. You know what I'm saying? But then you turn on the radio and even the clean versions of the songs are kind of not so clean. Case in point, the thrift shop song that has been played forever. We're playing the clean version on the radio and we're driving and my three-year-old um, is singing, this is mm -mm, awesome. Yeah, he's doing the mm -mm. Then they're all doing it. This is mm -mm, awesome. And my problem is that they're basically saying, it's just, it's weird. They're implying the F word. And I, I have an issue with that. Then I think back to when I was a kid and I really wasn't paying attention. I mean, think about it. In third grade, for show and tell, I brought in um, a um, 45 because I'm that old. So I brought in a 45 that I'd gotten at Kmart for a dollar. Um, and I brought it in. I was going to share it with the class for show and tell. And you know what it was? It was centerfold. My angel is a centerfold. Na, 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 Remember that song? It's like fifth and sixth grade singing that song. Boom, boom, boom. Let's go back to my room so we can do it all night and it can make you feel right or something like that. I had no idea. I don't know what to do because some of my favorite songs right now are horrible. I don't even feel right as a woman liking these songs, but I do. One of my favorite songs is Blurred Lines. The beat, oh, I love it. It's very like Michael Jackson, 80s, 70s. I love it. Dance to it. But then if you listen to the words, it is it is really not woman friendly. But do I run to it on my iPad? Or my iPod? Yes, I do. Another one that I really like is Drake. And the whole started from the bottom. That's what I had to look down at my notes. Started from the bottom. Like I'm like in the car and I'm like, yes. Like, I relate to the song so much. Started from the bottom, you know, look where he is. And they say, you know, mm, a fake friend. Yeah, no fake friends. I love that. That speaks to me, Drake.